good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Is it evening? Nope, 8 p.m. It is officially 8 p.m. and I'm headed out to assist Alex on a shift and load job. I got my iPhone set up to this gimbal right here, so hopefully it'll take some pretty cool night shots. Uh, it's a 48 foot or 53 footer flatbed trailer loaded with wood. I think he did a panic stop and the load shifted. There are five stacks, heavy stuff, all on top of each other. And I guess Alex wants to put one truck in front of the other so we don't damage the wood since it's all one piece. Hopefully we get a good angle. But we'll see when I get there, so about eight minutes out. today uh, California Highway Patrol had this guy move forward that means his airlines aren't messed up let's see let's see what he means so the one I did recently oh man he's kissing the cab the one I did recently was split up in sections yeah, see, the one I did recently was split up in sections. This is all one piece, one giant piece. So one truck and back of the other. No problemo. One in the front, one in the back. Yep. That way, when we pick it up, it doesn't bend, it doesn't buckle. Probably heavy too, huh? Does he know the weight? 48,000? Oh yeah, two truck job. Let's get my truck set up. Got wood? <laughs> All right, CHP killed his lane for us. They got the feds and they gave me the okay, so Hulk's moved up. Alex is gonna park Big Flipper right behind me. And I think we're gonna use four straps total. I don't know if you've ever seen this stuff loaded, but you run an incredibly high risk. Like if you were to put my truck in the middle, I just use two straps, even with two spreader bars, you can't get a big enough spreader to pick this up without the risk of it cracking and breaking. bit more back up and just get straight okay so that's let's see all right guys we got a bit of a hiccup um even tow trucks are prone to mechanical failure, unfortunately, and I just found out there was a terminal loose up here, right there on the battery box, and we have no PTO controls on this truck. We can't disengage the turret lock, anything, so. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna Superman this with Hulk. Close to 50,000 pounds, I'll probably have my load cells on it. And uh, yeah, wish me luck, guys. Let me put these outriggers away and back up my truck. It's not preferable. I've done dumb stuff like um, crazy amounts of weight, cargo loaders off the side, no problem. But those are in controlled environments like the airport. We're on the 210 right before Lake. So it's a bit more difficult. I have Alex here who's gonna help me, but. Yeah, wish me luck, y'all.
is gonna be fun. All right guys, sorry I've been horrible at recording. How to set up the spreader bars up top and then uh, run these straps through. So I decided to use my 15 foot straps. Um, that should do it. One on each end and then I got my eight foot round six. I'm gonna double up on each corner or each web shackle right there for uh, just to clear it. And that's all she wrote. I'm gonna help Alex push this through and then I'll get back right now. All right, I got Alex doing a little bit of labor. Got everything set up. What we're gonna do is, uh, like I said, there's my eight footers doubled up. Just to give me that clearance I'm gonna need. I prefer this and the 30 foot straps. The 30 foot straps are, are just too long. These 15 footers are too short. But you can correct that, you can always add length. When you got the 30 footers, you can't take away length. If that makes sense. Go for it. Good? Yeah. All right. Toss them. Actually, no. You're going to have to do it from down there. Just bring everything over. And two more web shackles for the other side. No, homie, the, these, the ones that go for the straps. They're all the way on the left. All right. I just decided to come up here to make it easier for Alex and I. Um, I post the link in the beginning of this when I first talked about it, about the other job I did, you'll see the similarities, but then also the huge differences. This being one piece is a lot harder because you have 100% of the weight and you have to angle it perfect, beyond perfect. Let's move this closer. Whereas with the other video that I did, uh, it's a two part job. Or I think it was a three-part job. I just know that the wood was staggered. Different lengths, different sizes. This is all one huge piece. Throw it on, you'll be the star for this part. And I'll be your eyes and ears. Let's bump up the ISO just a tad. No, 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 no. I want you at uh, go down with the boom. Keep going down. 40 degrees? I do a lot of these, you know, the TLD 929s? Yeah. I'll go to my sweep. Right there, right there, right there. Now, cable's in. Oh, big flipper. You picked a great time to die on me.
Tighten up. That's good enough for me. Do the same on this one. Here, let me go to the other side, okay? Excuse me. You, get your butt over here. Uh-oh. It's stuck. There we go. Tighten up. Tighten up. I love my spreader bars. Yeah. This one only. <clears throat> Don't stop. Keep going. All right, I think that's the best we're gonna do. Try it, go, go in with both cables. Good. We don't need much. Okay, now tighten up with the front more. You want more tension on that one. Good, good. Okay, hold it. Beautiful, beautiful. Hold it there. Boom up slowly. Actually, hold it there. Don't do anything. This guy's gonna need to see when he goes forward, so. Just need to close this. All right, let's go back. All right, this should be fun. You're doing great. Now go up a little bit with the boom. Boom up. Now drop the back cable, like, barely. Good, good, good. It's doing awesome. All right, now boom up a little bit more. Good. Uh, now both cables in slightly, at the same time, slowly, inch by inch. All right. I think that's good. Can you go forward from there, sir? Walk around the other side and start your truck. Build air, please. Yeah, start your start your truck and build air. Okay, and then I'll wait for you to get yes. the hand signal. Yes, correct. Truck's holding good, dude. Just because I'm curious, you got more play on that side. Uh, try to boom up a little bit. Now cables, both cables, or drop the back cable only. Okay, good, good, good. So you're doing it all right there. Let me check it out. Oh man, that is nice. We held just the right spot. Well, yeah, because you, what is it, 48 feet, right? Yeah, look. 48 feet. It'd be impossible to go at the 24 foot. You don't have a big enough spread. So since the back end is gonna slide, it's not strapped down. You want both straps up in the front. And it's even better that he's going forward and not backing up. Are these bolted on? Back and it's oh, good, there. good, good, good. <laughs> All right, let me go up there. Follow, yeah, follow me. Hold it. Huh? Can I separate it from the cab? 
Did it? Let me see. It was hit in the car and I was looking for Oh yeah. Let me uh, bump the ISO on this right now so the folks can see. Yep, I see space and his airlines are intact. Awesome. All right, almost. Alex, boom up a little, tiny, tiny bit. Boom up with the boom. Okay, that's that's awesome. Release the brakes. Release the brakes. Is it automatic or stick shift? Okay, put it in drive. Go less than one mile per hour. Barely anything. No, that's reverse. Drive. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Good. Hold it, hold it. That's Sir, that's way more than half a mile per hour. You're doing good though. Just like that, but you gotta go a lot more slow, sir. No jerky movements. Slowly, very slowly. Okay. Now, now when you go in with the cables, it's gonna naturally wanna slide back. Go in with both cables. Just like tiny, tiny. See? A little bit more, a little bit more. Go forward a little bit more. Tiny, feather it. More. All right, last touch handle, rear one. Fine. Hold it. Uh, a little bit more. A little bit more, so you're almost there. Hold it. Uh, t cables in tiny, dude. It's gonna, it's gonna slide. Yeah. Might slide too much, but it's, it's looking good. Nah, I'm not liking it. No. No. Uh, cables down a bit. Hold it there. Okay, go forward a tiny bit more, sir. Slowly though, you gotta feather it. I don't like how the cable, the straps throw it up together. This guy. <laughs> I mean, he's helping. Yeah. You think that's good enough? I think so. You think if we boom up a little bit more, it'll just slide a little bit? No, it won't. Like that. Like that. Okay, hold it. Like Set the brakes. Go down with your cables, Alex. Not all the way, though. Just drop it significantly. Right there's good. Set the brakes and come out and check it out, please. Good job. Oh, he came out the other side. Okay, do a walk around. Hey, this guy's so lucky his airlines didn't mess up. In fact, they didn't even go through his cap. All things considered, very lucky. Now I was doing this with one truck, like I didn't want to. What do you think? Not bad, huh? It's not bad. <laughs> Better than before? Oh yeah. <laughs> it's separated in the back a little bit, but I don't think there's a problem with that. At all, no, of course not. Right here. You're, totally You're still within your lines. You're still within your yeah, container. Yeah. Alex, drop it completely, cables only. Both at the same time, so yeah, there you go. That might fix the back because he was still in lift mode. Now obviously this would have been a, not a tiny bit faster with two rotators and a lot safer, a lot more smooth. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Let's check the back now again. Yeah, that's, that's fine, sir. How far are you going? Phoenix. Oh, Phoenix. Yeah, Phoenix. 
I'm scrapping the out. I had six scraps over the top, four in the middle. Yeah. And uh, when I hit the brakes, three of the scraps. Panic broke. stop. That's what happens. Once one breaks, they all go. Oh man, it. Oh, that was a beautiful job, man. I gotta admit, with one truck. This is why I absolutely love Hulk, man. It seems like everyone and their mom nowadays has a 50 ton, but I absolutely love pushing this truck to its limits. See if it's got a weight on here. 5,094 per thing. That can't be right. Like I said, I love pushing this truck to the limits, man. Straps are definitely okay. Didn't break anything. <clears throat> now, if you see in the video, it looked extreme. It's wood and it's long. It's going to bend. That's why you can't go too high. And that's why I wanted two trucks for safety. So we can get that height. Um, and essentially have two straps on each end. But Hulk, mean Hulk, got it done. I'm gonna put the camera down and help Alex put the truck away, guys. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we're done. I'm having Alex back up the Hulk right now just so I can Get this guy's information and do the invoice. Oh, by the way, about earlier, when I was like, that can't be right. Uh, wait, 5,094 pounds? Well, there's four of them, plus a fifth one on top, and then four more on this side. That's what was, con whoa. That's what was confusing me. I knew it wasn't 20,000 pounds. I felt it. Alright, I never discuss numbers on camera, so I'm gonna stop recording while I do this part. Alright. Gimbal and mic are put away, so sorry if the audio sucks and it's a little shaky. But what a fun job. Invoice taken care of. We helped homeboy strap up right now. He's going to Arizona. So good luck, sir. Let me just uh Well never mind, I don't wanna show you on this side. The lane is open again. But everything's super straight. Back on perfect. Customer's happy, a little shaking up, but all things considered, it could have been worse. I've done so many of these jobs, man. And the big thing is when these things go forward, they go in the cab. So if you look here, I mean, I'll crank the ISO up a bit. Truth be told, um, it doesn't even look too bad. You, you wouldn't really be able to tell. But yeah, Alex and I are out of here, guys. Hope you all enjoy this quick one. Peace.